Hello all and welcome to another video. This is my interpretation of painting a Primaris Lieutenant's shield. Now the areas I am pointing to here are going to be painted in Gracia as a base layer which will eventually be painted upon with white to try and get that bright white. I thin out my paints using a wet palette, it helps keep the paint moist. Try and get the consistency thinnish, but not too thin. You'll do multiple coats of this. Keeping it moist will help reduce brush strokes when you're painting like this. You will be doing two coats of this Gracia undercoat to get a nice uniform finish over the black. So the next step is to go over the Gracia base coat with Corax White. Again, you will need multiple coats of this. So thin out your paints, try to avoid brush strokes and keep your paint wet as much as you can. Use a wet palette if you have one. For the purity seals and the scroll across the front of the shield, we are going to be basing these parts in Zandri dust. next colour we're going to be using to base coat the skulls here I think it's pronounced Ushanti bone don't quote me on that but yes it's kind of like a, a creamy off-white colour do your best to get the skulls leave the eye sockets black for a bit of depth Retributa armor is going to be our base gold color. Use this on the trim of the shield. Also, do not forget that you have to do not only the front facing side of the trim, but the side of the trim and the back of the trim from the back side of the shield.
quick and simple base coat of Screamer Pink for the purity seals. Using Corvus Black we are going to redefine those black areas surrounding the skulls. Help cover over any areas that we might have touched whilst using the Ashanti Bone and the Sandry Dust Colours. After that we use a contrast paint, a Gunaman Flesh. Now this just covers the gold trim around the edge of the shield helps darken the gold a bit. Just remember to not only do the front, but do the sides and the back of the shield as well, whilst you're doing the gold bits. Using Liberator Gold, we are going to put a few thin layers, so I water this down quite a bit, in the middle between each section of the shield's trim. I'm not going to go around the entire circumference of the shield, with this Liberator Gold, I'm going to almost like leave the corners and choose certain edges to cover with this Liberator Gold to give a sense of highlight. Now we take the highlighting of the gold trim a little bit further using Storm Host Silver. Now this is to be done in between the areas where you already went over with Liberator Gold. Kind of causes a gradient from the outside of the side you're working on to the centre. So using the Layering Paint Screaming Skull, we are going to sort out the highlights, leaving the Zandri dust in the recesses to give some definition to those scrolls and name banners etc. You can use the screaming skull layering paint as well to somewhat highlight the skulls that we painted with your shanty bone. Leave a good amount of the shanty bone showing underneath will help define the curvature of the skull. Quickly use Stormhost Silver again, but this time just on the very, very edges or corners of the skulls and on the seals, purity uh, seal cloth areas, I don't know what you call them, scrolls sort of thing, on those edges. I go back to Corvus Black to try and mimic the look of text on the purity scrolls. 
I also decided to give the name banner across the centre of the shield a go with a bit of freehand. I just wrote TFH, the frantic hobbyist. You can put whatever you want here, or you can even leave it blank if you prefer. Now to highlight those purity seals, we use Pink Horror. You only want to catch the edges of the purity seal. So the raised circular bits around the sides. You can also use a dab of Corax White as well on the purity seal to give that little bit of extra sheen. We're going to dull down the black areas now using Mechanicus Grey. This is kind of like a hedge highlight, but not because it's just going over the black in certain areas and highlighting in others. It's to mute down the black so it's not so prominent. Okay, so yes, there are many ways you can paint a shield and this is how I like to do mine. If you find it helpful, the way I paint my shield and like to mimic it, just save this video for future viewing. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below if you have something to say about it. Yes, and this is what it looks like on the miniature. Thank you again for watching and until the next time this has been the frantic hobbyist good night